Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Thursday, March the 2nd. Market melt-up continues, marching on for the first day of the month, up big yesterday, up 1% and more across the stock indexes. Now, we finally achieved our measure move objective in the S&P 2400, something we talked about last year when we saw the markets bounce from 1800 to 2100 uh, and a full V recovery targeted 2400. So now what is the big question? We also saw the Dow yesterday march up to 21,000. So it's been about a month since 20K day back January 25th. And lastly, the NDX voided that topping pattern that we saw last week where we saw that key reversal made new all time highs up 1% as well. So with stocks surging, we had the dollar rise and gold down a little bit, down about $5 at 1250. We saw crude essentially on change down 15 cents, heading nowhere fast right now. Yesterday's range was 54.40 to 53.60. So stuck, very much still stuck in that range. We've been trading between 55 and 53 since February the 9th. So going on three weeks, almost a month. So the bond market got hit as well yesterday. We want to mention that down two full points, pushing the yield on the 30 year up close to 3.1% and unwinding in those treasuries. Now looking in the markets here Thursday morning, the big headline is Snapchat IPO coming out with a value of $24 billion and the first print will happen here this morning. Looking at the stock indexes, we're steady, the E-mini S&P is down three, the Dow right now is down two and the NDX is down six, so not moving much. Looking at other markets, we've got gold down $10 at 1240 and we've got crude Looking at the prices, still stuck sideways. Actually, it's down 1% right now, moving below the $53 level. So this is the first breach of $53 that we've seen in many weeks. So to summarize, as the cash stock market's just getting started, stock indexes are steady, E-mini S&P down three, the uh, Dow is down two, and we've got the NDX down five. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.